Hello, it's Rebecca from Rebecca Inc. Today we are going to draw a cute little red panda. Uh, grab a pencil, a marker, an eraser or your pencil eraser and a piece of paper. Put me on pause, go gather up that stuff and come right back. I'm going to move my guide and we'll get started. I am going to use a marker you are going to use your pencil. So grab your pencil and we're going to start with a big oval in the center of our paper. Our little red panda is sleeping and um, curled up in a ball. So we're going to draw an oval. It's going to be about this big in the center of your paper. To get that shape, I'm getting my whole arm going all the way from my shoulder and I'm going around and around and around and around. See how mine is not perfect and I've got some lines that are outside, some lines that are inside. It's exactly what you want. We are just creating our guides with our pencil nice and light and loose on your paper. Be very forgiving with yourself. No one is erasing and uh, in the end you'll, you'll be amazed what you create. All right, over to the right hand side we are going to draw a circle about this big. It's large enough we can get our whole arm going again from our shoulder, nice and light. It lives mostly inside that body oval, and a little bit can pop out to the side. Just like that, round and round you go. If it helps you, you can squint your eyes to see that shape. Now my circle is not perfect, it's a little uh, squared on that side. I'm just gonna let it alone, it'll be fine. Now we're gonna add in our little red panda's ears. We're gonna do our ears. Their ears are really cute. They're um, rounded at the top. So we are gonna do a circle right about here on that little head shape we just drew. Whole arm going from your shoulder, round and round you go. And then on top of that, a smaller one. For that smaller one, you can just use your hand. Then we're gonna connect those two shapes, the little connecting triangle simple line down connecting that circle to that circle same thing on the other side if if whenever you're drawing your hand feels awkward or uncomfortable rotate your paper um, it shouldn't feel awkward for you inside that largest circle we drew we're going to draw a nice little arc just like that now you could plant your wrist and move your hand back and forth in the natural arc your body will go in to get that shape all right, other side, same deal. Larger circle, about like that. Try to make them roughly the same size. And then on top of that, another little circle. Add in your connecting triangles and you've got yourself two ears. All right, inside this ear, same little thing. Plant your wrist, move your hand back and forth, back and forth, get that nice little arc. Now, their little little head has like a little dip right here because of the way he's sitting. So we're just gonna add in a little arc at the top of that oval or that circle we drew for the face. I'm just kind of rounding it out. A little dip right there. Let's move on in to the face shape. Um, they have got like some red fur and then on their face it gets a little bit lighter. So we're gonna draw another circle Inside this face circle, we're going to draw another circle about this big. It's going to live in front of those ears and rest at the base of the face circle. So around we go, whole arm going from your shoulder, and draw the, the next circle inside that face. On either side of the ear, we're going to add in a little triangle to give ourselves a guide for where some fun little fur is going to tuft out when we go over this with our marker. So just draw in nice and loosely two little triangles there about that size. They can be pointed different directions. They're just going to help us know where to put in some cute little fur marks. Now we're ready for the meat of our project, the cute little face. Let's draw a little circle that will end up being the nose and the mouth right about here on your face circle. That inside circle. I'm going to draw a little circle like that. Now inside that circle, kind of just below the center, let's draw an oval about that big. You're going to plant your wrist and just move your fingers 
round and around and around you go. Now off of one edge, another oval coming down, and then off the other edge, another oval coming down. Now use those ovals instead of drawing a triangle because this inside part of that oval will help us create the nostril. So let's give ourselves a little highlight. Just draw a little mimicking line like that. So when we fill it in, we remember to leave that part white. On top of this top oval here, we're gonna add in a little rectangle, just like that, a little tiny one. Oh, I think the sun's coming out for a second there. All right, now from where these two angled ovals meet up, touch your pencil down and we're gonna draw two little circles. It's gonna come out and over, about like that, nice and light. If you wanna pick your pencil up as you go back to the nose, so you don't confuse yourself with too many lines, you can do that, that's what I do. You don't have to, but you can. See how mine's not perfect? Don't expect yours to be perfect, okay? That's just stressful. In between those two circles, give yourself a nice little smile. Little arc right there. Very good. All right, on top of this larger circle we drew inside the face, we're gonna add in some circles and ovals for the eyes. So let's start with the circles off to either side. You can get your whole arm going from your shoulder for this guy. Draw one circle there and on to the other side, another circle here. All right, inside those, we're gonna do some smaller circles. You can plant your wrist and get your fingers going. Around and around and around and around. One circle there inside this one, another circle there. Now our little red panda has some cute highlights in his eyes, so we are gonna go an even littler circle inside that. Making mine kinda big because I'm finding as you make the highlights bigger, the animals look sweeter and cuter, and I think we could use sweeter and cuter right now. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, now let's add in that arc I like to do over the eyes. For the eyelid, you're gonna plant your wrist and set your pencil down, go over the top and back and forth. Now if you plant your wrist when you're doing that, your hand is really just gonna move in that natural motion. You can't get it to go too many other directions, so you're making your body work for you <laughs> when you do that. All right, now we're gonna add in some ovals to give us some hints of the fur and the fur color. We're gonna draw a little oval, right about like that. Same thing, point it in the other direction, and right about like that. Very good. Now up from those ovals, we're just gonna do one arc that way, and one arc that way. Now, our red panda has some fur that lives on either side of its nose and mouth, just down from the eye, um, that's red. So we are going to draw an arced line. Just kind of goes like that alongside that little circle that we drew for the nose and mouth area. So from the eye, arc down toward the mouth. I made that one a little big. Down toward the mouth. All right. I mean, look at my guide here. I think we've got all of our face shapes. Now let's move on to the body. Now the body is super simple on this guy. So from this ear, right about here, so it would be about halfway up that ear, we're just gonna draw an arc from here over to the oval that we drew. So from there, plant your wrist and just draw that arc. You can go back over it a few times. like that. Now from there we're gonna go not quite halfway up and we're gonna draw an oval coming into that shape. So it's gonna live right about here. So if you start where you want it to live and it ends up being where you want it to be. Inside that up toward the top let's just do a little mimicking line that follows that down. So just kind of give a little line that follows that shape. That'll end up giving us a little highlight in that fur. All right, now we are ready for their tail. Their tail has some cute little stripes on it. So to help us get the stripes, we're gonna draw the tail. It's kind of tucked up underneath them 
in a series of circles. It's going to start about here where these two shapes meet up. So roughly here, we're going to draw a circle about this big. I'm going to get my whole arm going from my shoulder and draw one circle. Now move your arm down a little bit, draw another circle. They're kind of living inside that original oval that we drew. They're kind of living alongside that tuck just inside there. If they go a little bit outside, that's fine, but kind of use that as your guide as to where to put these. And they're about all the same size. And there are another one. Last one headed toward the face. It's gonna cut up into our face shape. Now for the tail, you can use that outside section. If you lined it up pretty well, and it's just sitting on the edge of your oval, you can use that for your connecting triangles. But if, if you didn't quite get it, which I didn't, I'm gonna add in my connecting triangles between those circles. One there, just a quick little line. I'm planting my wrist so it kind of curves along with my tail. And then I'm gonna do the same thing across the top. One, two, three of them. So add in your connecting triangle. One, two, three. You have everything you need to draw an adorable red panda already drawn, so set down your pencil and grab your marker. I'm using a Sharpie. You can use any kind of writing utensil that you can't erase. So if you just have a big pen, use a big pen, or you could use a, um, a gel pen. I've seen some fun gel pen drawings. Whatever you have, use that. All right, let's start up here between the ears. We are going to draw along the top of this head, dip it down in that little curve, and over to the ear and stop. So start there, around that oval, dip it down, and back. I guess that was more of a circular shape. Mine was kind of a fail in the shape, but it's going to work. All right, around this ear, we're going to go from here, so kind of tucked into that head, up around this circle, connecting triangle, circle, connecting triangle, and down. So tuck onto that circle, connecting triangle, around the circle, and down. Just a little bit into the head shape there. Go ahead and add in this arc that we drew. We're gonna go down that arc, and then just kind of give it a little back and forth action at the bottom. Very good. Let's go over to the other ear and do that same thing. We're tucking into the head, around the circle, onto that connecting triangle, around the circle, connecting triangle, headed back toward the face. Same thing, arc, fill in your arc, back and forth, then back and forth at the base of it. Very good. Now, let's do the fur that lives on the face. Um, they've got some fluffy fur that comes in front of their ear and then off to the side. So we're gonna draw that in first along this circle and head it over to this triangle here. Um, we're gonna do a shape, it looks like this. It's just kinda back and forth and back and forth. Nice and light and loose. Um, you might use this shape like if you were drawing grass or something like that as well. So back and forth and back and forth. And then let's do the same on the side over here for this little piece of fur that sticks out here. Back and forth and back and forth. All right, now let's go into the face and do some of that. Where we had this circle on the inside of the face, we're gonna start about three quarters of the way over. And I'm deciding I would like my panda's fur to kind of go this direction. If you want your panda's fur to go that direction, you can. I'm just reverse what I'm doing. So I'm going over here, kind of touching my marker down to that line, back and forth and back and forth. And then I'm pointing the fur around that circle as I go. I'm just gonna do a little arc right like that. Now let's go back up on this side and draw in front of that ear along the edge of that circle. Let's see, right about here. Now it's gonna kinda of connect over to that exterior circle there. I'm gonna point it down toward the chin. I'm actually gonna come over. Go 
come over to where you've got that last circle on the tail. All right, now let's go back up by this ear. We had that part drawn in. Now let's do a little back and forth along this circle up to where it connects to that tail. Back and forth, just little triangles. They can be big, they can be little. You can kind of vary the shape and size. That's, that's awesome, that works out well. All right, now let's do the outside of the body so we know where things live. I think I need to connect somehow over here. I got a little awry. So if you've got a little empty spot over here, add in a few little hints of fur there. Okay, let's go around this body. We're gonna go all the way around this arc and we're just gonna simply set our marker down and kinda do a long little mark and cut back in. Just to kind of give a hint, their fur is a really kind of, uh, it's really pretty, but it's all kind of the same length. So it reads as a solid line, but it also reads soft. So that might help give us that idea that there's fur there and it's soft. It's not a solid line. Now, this guide here, this arc that we drew, and this circle, or oval, that we drew, this area in here is black on their fur. So we're gonna do some back and forth along this arc, and then where it meets up with that circle, along the circle, and over to the edge. And this one, I'm making it smaller. Just a simple up and down little motion. Try not to overthink it or make it stressful for yourself. Just back and forth and back and forth you go. Now let's do our tail and that will help us know where all these other things live. Let's do around this outside edge first. We're gonna do that same kind of idea that we did there, but with a closer motion. So we're gonna start at this end and we're pointing our fur toward the face. It's gonna go back and forth and back and forth. Where it comes to our connecting triangle, we're letting that tuck in just a tiny bit and then back, like that. Head down toward that face. Tuck up to the face. Now for the inside, we're gonna do the same deal, but pointing toward the face on top. When we get around this last circle, we'll go around that and tuck into where our little chin fur meets. So go ahead, back and forth, back and forth. Round you go. Now when we get up here, tuck it in underneath that chin. Let it kind of come down like that. Now for these little details on their tail, you are gonna want the top part of the circle, or the side, I'm gonna say the side, I guess this would be the top. The left side of that circle that arcs away from the face, we're just gonna do a little hint of that back and forth there. Go up to that next circle, same line, right here. Arc it down. Point your fur toward the ground. Follow along that curve. That kind of gives you that, um, it helps give it the rounded shape. And then one more up here. Follow your guide, back and forth and back and forth. All right, now for this, this is their little hip tucked in there. We're gonna do a little jiggy jaggy line around that and stop when you get to the tail. Same thing on that little highlight. I'm only giving it the highlight so when we color it in black, you know, hey, something's happening there. There's a hint of a body. There, that's where the hip is. So from here, we're gonna fill this section in black and this section in black. When you get up to this face fur, like that, allow that to be that back and forth. So kind of color around, fill in around that part. Like that. All right, you can do this nice and loosely. It doesn't all have to get filled in. It's okay if you've got a few little white spots here and there. And uh, there's no right or wrong way to do this. If you like to color in little circles, color in little circles. If you like to do nice long lines, you can do that. I'm doing kind of a quick back and forth and back and forth. You can hear my marker, it's going fast. Um, if you're going fast and you end up 
with a little mistake, figure out a clever way to work with that. Don't let it stress you out. Like I went a little bit into the tail. All I did was go back over my little back and forth lines and, and have it cover up that little piece that went out too far. So you may want to go slower around some of those edges if that is going to be something you don't want to have happen. I like to say with artwork, it's important to let it be like kind of a process and it's important to let yourself make those quote unquote mistakes. Um, I call them happy accidents. They make you think, they make you come up with a clever solution. In the long run, those little things that originally were frustrating are going to be the things that give your drawing energy and character and they're going to be the things that make it uniquely yours. And in the long run, they benefit your drawing. So uh, don't worry, drawing is not a perfect thing. Art is not perfect. It's, uh, it's human and it's, it's cool. Let it be cool. Don't let it be stressful. Back and forth I go. My marker looks like it's getting lower. Might be time to get a new Sharpie out for tomorrow. Alright, almost done. If I'm coloring faster than you're coloring, you can pause me, fill in this little shape down to the tail, and just like that, and then hit play. I'll be right here. Alright, we are ready. Give it a quick little go there. We're going to move on to the face. Let's start with the eyes, because that's going to be the fun part. We are going to go around that circle. Make sure you leave your highlights nice and white. I've got one there and I'm gonna give another one there. All right, so I've got my highlights. Next up, let's do that arced line. So plant your wrist and trace over the little arced line that we had over those eyes. Very good. Now let's do our nose. For our nose, we are gonna go fill in that little oval down there and this little oval down here, leaving your little highlights that we had white, leave those white. And where those ovals meet up and you have a little triangle, fill in that triangle. Then for our oval and our rectangle, we are just going to fill those in with little dots. The top part of our nose here is a little bit lighter, so we don't want to fill it in completely black, but we want, we want you to know it's dark for our mouth. On this little circle here, we're going to start at the tip of the nose and head out. And on this little circle, tip of the nose and head out the other way. So just a simple little kind of back and forth about like that. Same thing on the other side. And for that little arc that we did, that's their little chin. So we're just going to give some little hints of fur there. Touching and kind of zigzagging around. Okay, now we need to add in some of these lines through here. Let's start with this oval around their eye. We're going to go about to the middle at the top of that, come down and around and up, just about like that. Same thing on the other side, down and around and up. Now that's going to let us know where is this red part on their face. Now in my um, guide drawing, I colored that in black because I wanted you to know it was darker. If you are going to want to color your, your drawing in with colored pencil or marker, you may just want to do these outlines and then this part would be red. So around this center circle here, we're going to give a couple hints of that fur, kind of like we did over here. We're going to start under the eye, back and forth a little bit, just like this head down toward that chin. Same thing on the other side. Back and forth in front of the eye. Head down toward that chin. Now for we, where we have those arcs that I colored in black, um, we'll do just the outline of those. Back and forth. Just like that. Head down toward the, toward the mouth there. Same thing on the other side. Back and forth and head down to the mouth. If you want to color it in, don't fill these in black. If you don't want to color it in, and you want it to just be black and white, like I like, you can fill it in black. 
I'm excited to see how you color them, so make sure you send me them in the comments below. Um, I'm excited to see what you do with those. Now, in the space that lives between that red stripe there and these little circles we did next to the nose, there are some whiskers. We are going to plant our marker along that circle there, on, along that edge, and just flick it out. Plant and flick. Now, as you do that, where you touch it down is going to be the darkest. And as you flick out, your marker is naturally going to get lighter. All right, we're almost done. Let's head up around this circle. Look at the circle we had for the eye. You're going to do a series of five dots. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do six. Ugh, I don't like uneven or even, so I'm going to add one more at the top. I'm going to do a series of seven dots. I lied. Seven dots. Same thing on the other side, kind of around the edge of that circle. I didn't count those, but you know, I'll go back later. <laughs> All right, for this line in between their nose, or their, in between their eyes there, we're just gonna simply kind of go over that nice and light. Let your marker skip a little bit here and there. And I believe we are all done. Let me double check and make sure we've got all the fun details I wanted you to have. I think we're all done. You are ready to erase your guides. You guys, this is a cute little guy. I'm excited. I think you're gonna like what you did. I'm gonna switch over to my guide because I drew this in pencil and I can erase right with you. So grab your eraser, study your paper, and just erase your guidelines. If you have an area that's a little bit darker, take a second, go over that a few times. Make sure to move your studying hand right along with you as you erase. So you don't crinkle your paper. Send me your drawings in the comments below. Let me know what you want to draw next. You can also let me know if you want to say happy birthday or send someone a special message. Um, I'm happy to create a moment for the two of you. Um, we can draw, do an activity that everybody could do together apart. Um, I like doing that. That's a fun thing to do. Send me your drawings in the comments. Like and subscribe and all that internet talk. Oh, he's cute. You can find Rebecca Inc. I N K Facebook. Send me your, your drawings in the comments. YouTube. Spoonflower. You can find my fabric designs on Spoonflower. You can find your drawings on my website, Rebecca Inc. I N K dot com under the interact tab. You can also find downloadable coloring pages and see some of my artwork on there. And you can also find me on at Rebecca Inca Bink on uh, Instagram. All right, guys, thanks for drawing with me today. Stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, stay positive, and I will see you tomorrow.